Okay, and at the end of the service, Pastor Keila is going to give you our email address so that you may have this uh, this poem in your hands to know that you are a child of God. Now, why did Elder Sherry took the time, uh, and why after a class, a new beginner's class, uh, the students recite over and over and said, okay, uh, I'm a child of God. Uh, I need y'all to understand something that after reciting something like that, you have to put it in your spirit because your enemy don't want you to know who you are. That's it. Okay, okay. First of all, the purpose of the poem, all of us Christian, all your Christian life, from this day forth, Satan will challenge your identity, your position, and your status. That's it. Satan will throw arrows of doubt, discouragement, and lies at you. He will use web of fear and slap us left and right with distraction. Distraction on your job, distraction on your business, distraction on Facebook, internet, okay, problems with sickness, disease, I mean, you name it, he is going to throw it at you. Amen? He's going to even use the dog and the cat and the children. Everything he's going to throw it at you. Amen? Amen. Okay. There's three points I want to make real, 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 real. Okay, my, my mic just went on. I would like to present to you today three things that Satan is after. He's after your identity. Say identity. identity. He's after your position. Say position. position. And he's after your helper's job. Yeah. He's after your helper's job. You all hear me? Yeah. He's after your identity. Yeah. He's after your position. And he's after your helper's job. Let's start with point number one. Satan is after my identity. Say that. Yeah. Your identity is so important to your survival as a Christian. Knowing your true identity is key to living and operating on this earth. Same job is to make you doubt that you're truly the child of the most high God. Therefore, he wants you to pick up a bunch of false identity on this earth. Oh, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. He wants you to have identity crisis all the time. That's why he throw all these distractions at you. Therefore, we will begin to deny our true self. A sidebar note, a sidebar note is this. When you des- de- deny your true self, you're denying the best thing that's with My inside God. of you. That's it. Ooh, that's ooh. it. Amen. I, your identity is largely concerned with the question of who are you? And where did you come from? Yes. And what does it mean to be who you are? Yes. Even Jesus was tempted by, by Satan with this question. Because Satan was at, trying to ask him, are you sure you're a child of God? And so Satan in the garden, in Matthew the fourth chapter, verse 3, he said to Jesus, if thou be the son of God, command that these stones be made bread. And, that, and, and, and within that temptation, right? Because in the fact, I know on this fact, Say fight y'all do never because I was born every day on this fast. Y'all know what I'm saying? I, 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 I'm, I'm going to have to confess something. I'm going to have to continue my fast faster. Because I'm after something. Y'all understand something. There's something I'm after. There's a breakthrough that we have to go after. Don't just stop on the seventh day. Shandale, I'm sorry. We got to go after. Let me explain something to you. Satan also tells Jesus, because Jesus was on a fast. That's right. And he said, on Matthew the fourth chapter, verse 6, he said, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up. Lest any time you dash your foot against a soul. Let me explain. Let me explain in plain English. Satan knows as a children of God, God has given us power to command things. Yeah. And they would happen. Number two, he also knows that there are sets of angels assigned to guard, 
protect and fight for us. But we are ignorant of this, this fact. That's why he said, throw yourself down, man. Just throw yourself down the, like the time itself. Just throw yourself down. You know you got an entourage of angels waiting, you know, because God assigned them. And they're waiting to catch you. Just throw yourself down. Because you're the child of the most high God. So just throw yourself down. But but see, we, although we say it, we don't really mean it. I'm a child of God. Because we don't know what it means to be a child of God. Uh, uh, and, and, and Jesus said this, my, 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 my people are destroyed, as God said. My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. As a child of God, we were created from the image and likeness of God. Yeah. God is a spirit people. Therefore, I was created from God's spirit. And I have some of his likeness inside of me. Amen. What does that mean? A mother will sometimes say, this child is just like her daddy. Mm -hmm. She has a bad temper and is cheap ways. Okay. <laughs> Rarely will she say she's kind, lovable, sweet, patient, generous, or caring like a dad. Satan knows we are created with the same fiber that's inside of God. The same fiber that God put out, out, outside, out of him, and he put it in me and you. Because that's why he quote in Psalms 82, 6. Okay, and I'll quote it for you because you know my time is off. You are God's. Yeah. And all of you are children of, of the most high God. Yeah. You are mightier than you know. Oh, oh somebody, oh, somebody. Yeah. You are mightier than what you know. Because yeah. on the inside of you, there's a G on the inside of you. Yeah. And you don't even know that you have a G on the inside of you, girlfriend. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, I'm talking to some people today. Okay? Children of the Most High God, I'm talking to y'all. Listen, Satan and the world don't want you to, to identify with your true self. To know who you are is to know this fact. Listen to the fact that you and I are ears of God. Wendy, you and I are ears of God. Amen. Sidebar note. What you don't know or believe, you will never claim as yours. What you don't know and what you don't believe, you will never claim. You will never, never. You know I'm about to take off these shows. They go about to throw me off. Listen, what you don't know, what you don't know, and what you don't believe, you will never claim as yours. Ears. Okay, let me explain what an ear is. An ear, yes, the issue's about to go. Listen, an ear is this. Listen. An ear is this. An ear is a person who is legally entitled to inherit or receive the belongings, wealth, possession, lands, and property of their deceased relative. Yeah. This includes uh, the relative bodyguard, his special forces, and his armories. Every weapon that God owns is your weapon. Every money that God owns is your money. Every anointing that God has is your anointing. Uh, somebody follow me today. Uh, follow me today. Follow me today. Everything that belongs to God belongs to you. Are you following me? Are you going to follow me? Every, you got to claim it. And you got to know I'm entitled to this as a child of the most high God. Oh, Shanda. The ear also received the inner gifts, gift of healing, miracles, prophecy, and special forces. The power belongs to you. The authority belongs to you. The strength and the nasty on the inside belongs to you. The ear is also, he and her key, listen to me. Uh, if your daddy died, if your whoever, you know, your, your rich relative, if they ever die, you know, their Porsche belongs to you, their Mercedes Benz belongs to you, everything that belongs, you don't have the keys. Yeah. And people can't tell you nothing about because you got the keys, right? So what you going to do? You're going to drive that car, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, aren't you going to 
are most successful. You're famous and highly regarded members of a particular family. Who told you and I that we're failures? Who told you you are a failure? God say you're successful. God say you're famous in my, my house. God say you're highly regarded. And you know what? In the spiritual realm, see y'all don't know. In the spiritual realm, you're way up there. You're seated in high places with Christ Jesus. But down here, the system tells you, oh, you ain't got no money. You ain't got this. You ain't got that. But you loaded in the spiritual realm. Yeah. You just don't know anything that you got on the inside of you. Yeah. The kingdom of God is right here. Yeah. It's on the inside of you. Yeah. Girl, she, the kingdom of God is right here. Yeah. Right, girlfriend? Right. And you and I just don't know. Pull it from here. Don't go to heaven. Don't run to, to Jamaica. Don't run to Haiti. Don't run over here. Don't run over there. Right. I'm mean, like, just put it from here. Talk. Oh my God. Because your God is on the inside. The kingdom of God is right here. Yeah. Yeah. Who told you you were failure? Good for nothing, stupid, dumb, or not good for anything. Where did you and I find this inferior, inferior um, attitude about ourselves? I'm a grasshopper. Who told you you are insect? Who told you that you are dumb? Who told you you are stupid? Who told you you could not make it? Who told you that you are not good? You, I mean, you can't go nowhere. You can't do nothing. Who told you this child that you can't do this job? That's right. Come on. You are highly regarded in the spiritual world yeah. and in the realm of the spirit. We, we're we are a high class. We're in a class all by ourselves. You know why you don't fit into no, no, the social gathering? Because you're in a class all by yourself. You're in a class all by yourself. Our bloodline, your bloodline is royalty. We have the success and power of our daddy God running through our veins. Failure is not an option, according to God. We were born winners. Satan tell you, 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 you are failure. But God said you were born a winner. Uh, Elder Sheriff, what are you talking about? Let, let, let me talk to some of, some of the people, you know, uh, uh, that go through a racetrack. Mm. Okay. Listen. You know those horses? The thoroughbred. Am I pronouncing it right? The thoroughbred. 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 Okay. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about. Those horses that go great real fast. Let me, let me explain something to y'all about those horses. Okay. He was born with super agility. Fast, tense, fantastic speed. And an exceptional spirit. Therefore, he's considered a champion among all horses. From a baby, he was trained and breathed different from all horses. So therefore, when he is, he didn't even know that he was a champion. He didn't even know he was a winner. But guess what? Already, as a from a from a baby, his work is in the millions. To own one of those horses, you better be, be a millionaire or a billionaire because you can't afford him. Oh my God, my God. Because every time he races in his bloodline, that is a winner's bloodline. So just by looking at him, uh, they see a winner. Uh, uh, did y'all hear me? Just by looking at him, uh, uh, everyone in the, in the racing world knows that he is a winner. From a baby, he is a winner. From a baby, they know if he starts to run, he gonna win the race. Y'all understand? Because it's a trilogy. Okay? And his, uh, his fantastic speed, from a baby, he got that speed on the inside of him, and his exceptionality spirit. They say that horse is very sensitive. He can read you, whether you're a good trainer or not. 
He, he knows things about you before you even know. God knows who we are. You all hear me? And before you even start the race, he knows what you're capable of doing. But Satan wants you to know you can't make it. So what does he do? He gives you a false identity. Right? I would do that too. I'm not in your position, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna keep you a drunk. And you know, I'm gonna keep you, I'm gonna keep you blind, I'm gonna keep you addicted. Yeah, huh? Because you don't know that you 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 you're a winner. You don't know your royalty, uh-huh. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep you below my feet. So I'm gonna keep you in poverty, I'm gonna keep you addicted to something, uh-huh. Because when you're addicted to something, you don't know that you, 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 you're great, that you're powerful, that you're awesome, that you're successful. You don't know. You don't know what you are capable of because you are so inside of yourself. Glory, glory, glory. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. My Lord, my Lord. Oh, Shadi. Listen to me. In 1 Peter 2, 9 and 10, God said this about you. But you are a chosen generation. And I chose you. A royal priesthood. Oh, you what? A holy nation. A peculiar people. That you may show forth the praises of him. Who have called you out of darkness into this marvelous light. What am I saying? I am saying God already chose you. From, from, from before you were born, you were chosen. Before you were born, you know God knows I chose you. A child of God, listen to me. Say you want you to keep the, the stay under your his feet. But you, it's your job to put your, your foot on his neck. That's it. But he wants you to know. Hey, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Uh, uh, don't do this. Don't, 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 don't go no further. So I stay right here. God, stay in your comfort zone. Nice. Stay right here in your comfort zone. Don't, don't investigate too deep who you are. Don't, don't investigate. Because when people say, oh, you you special, all of a sudden you start crying. Yes, you are special. That's right, that's it, that's it. You, there's something funny about you, Sherry. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. I'm crazy for the Lord. Yeah. Somebody need to be crazy for the Lord. Yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I was crazy for the world one time, yeah. but now I'm crazy for God. Yeah. Okay? Because I'm a child of the most high God. You got to say that attitude. <laughs> Listen to me. Failure is not an option. That's right. Therefore, you got to develop a can do spirit. You got to develop a what? Philippians 4 13. I can do all things. Through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I can kick this habit. I can kick this problem. I can overcome this. I can do this. I can do all things. It's a spirit. It has nothing to do with your feeling, how you feel. Do you all hear me? It has nothing to do with how you feel. It's all about the spirit. On the inside. I will try and try again. I'll go forth and do it again. Again. Dig deeper inside you. You can handle more than you think you can. Thank you, Thank you. Now, point number three. I gotta go. I gotta go. Point number three. Satan is after our helper's job. Oh, Jesus. Elder Sherry, what are you saying? Satan is after your helper's job. Let me come down to earth a second. Satan don't want us to call on our helper to assist us. What's his name, Sherry? You know, I don't even know his name. Who did God? Who did? Who did God uh, send to help me? You know, she doesn't share. I don't even know who God sent to help me. You know, I just been fighting, fighting here all, on this earth all by myself. You think God will send His children, His most precious commodity, 
on this earth by themselves. Come on, now. Right. That's right. Come on. Come on. You don't know you have an entourage of bodyguards that's and, it. That's it. That's and it. special forces. That's yeah. it. Don't you know your house is well protected? As a child of God, you don't know God gives you the best helper, the greatest helper. You know, the president don't just choose anybody to watch his children. Somebody talk to me. He don't just choose anybody, you know, to watch his children. He gotta, you got to be an investigator. Okay, he got to see whether you're a pedophile. He got to see whether, you know, you're going to touch his children. He got to see, you know, whether your mind is clear. You don't have no mental problem. Y'all understand what I'm saying? He got to see whether you're a sharp shooter. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. He got to see whether or not you can fight. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Whether you're a warrior. So guess what? Hmm. God give you the best. God give you the one? The best. The best and the most powerful. But guess what? Satan have you, you and I, afraid of asking the helper for help. So you're struggling by yourself. You're not asking the helper to help you. He is not just a helper. Listen to me. He's also, he's also a guy. He's also a comforter. He's a teacher. He's a counselor. He's a friend. Oh, Shandaleva. He's, uh, you mean to tell me if I'm having a problem, I just could go to counsel uh, 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 Holy Ghost, uh, Holy Ghost uh, presence, Holy Ghost, uh, can we talk? Holy Ghost, uh, you know, um, I'm having a problem here, Holy Ghost. And I, I need some answers. No, but you're afraid. Remember, you're afraid to go and answer. You're afraid to go too deep. You're afraid to approach it. You are afraid. You you fighting this spiritual battle all in the flesh. Are you gonna win? No. Flesh cannot fight against a spiritual battle. When people are super, when there's a superpower, and they can't you know fight with your natural. Come on, somebody. Get your your and if you uh, 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 share, you know, let's don't talk too much about the Holy Spirit. That's your problem. That's your problem right here. You don't want to talk about it. I'm, I'm saying it today. I'm putting it out there. You know, because I've been fighting all week with these devils. I'm saying it today. you got to ask the Holy Spirit. I'm going to share what you're saying. I got, five, I got two minutes to step the story. Listen, I lost my keys. My daddy's in the hospital. I lost my keys. And you know the people at North Shore. Oh, Lord. God. I'm, I'm good. That's how I used to say, be good. Okay, I'm good. So the people at North Shore, they, they, uh, you know, my nerves was like this, okay? And I had to, you know, keep my mouth like this, you know? I had to praise a woman. I had to keep, you know, I had to keep a muscle on my mouth. You know, you understand? You understand? I really did, you know, at one time they came, you know, they sent some uh, bodyguards, some securities, some whatever they are. They come and escort me downstairs, real nice. The woman even told me, lady, have a nice day. I said, okay, you know, I can't answer her. I can't say anything. You know, I I have to stay say I have to be quiet. I'm a child of God. I'm a child of God. I'm a child of God. So you know what I did. Okay. So I know my mind was just playing games with me. Uh, my mind was just going crazy. So you know what I said? I said this. I'm a child of God. All right, God. I'm beneath acting like this. <laughs> so I'm going to keep calm. And I'm going to act with dignity. And I'm going to walk with royalty. Oh, shout out there. I'm going to walk out of this hospital with royalty. I'm not going to act up, Lord God. I'm going to stay safe. Lord God, I'm going to stay safe. In the process, watch this, in the process of all that, I done lost my car keys. I done lost my car keys. I don't know where I put the car keys. Now listen to this. I, in all that rain, y'all know it rain real bad on Friday, right? What? Okay. Listen, in all that rain, okay, I, I done got everything wet. My, my, you know, you, when, when a woman wing and everything. You know when, when your wig is wet, you know, you're ready to slap somebody, right? Okay. So, 
and I lost my keys. Now I'm mad you. I went to the car, opened the car door, uh, put my books in, put everything up, went to drive, no keys. I said, oh Lord, I lost my keys. Run back upstairs and you know in the hospital uh, and, and uh, you know subway. Ask the people, did you see my keys? No man. I went upstairs. Did y'all see my keys? No. So I was I said, wait a minute. Said, hold on. Hold on, child of God. Hold on. Hold on. You got a helper. Why are you running around like crazy like this? Why are you frantic like this? Ask your helper. I said, oh, just, oh, Holy Ghost, forgive me. Forgive me, Holy Ghost. Uh, Holy Ghost, can you please tell me where my keys at? In your car. <laughs> in my car. Oh, thank you, Lord God. Oh, Jesus. Thank him in advance before you even said. He said in your car, go to your car. Don't shut your mouth. Don't say a word. You know, walk, dignify, walk, you know, like you got some sense. Go, go to your car and check for your keys. So I did that. As soon as I opened the door, there's the keys. Ooh. There you go. Why am I saying that? I could have gone to jail. I could have done, done everything. You see how Satan put you playing with you? That's why I continue to fast. That's why I, I, you know, I got to work some stuff out. I got to work some. I got to work some. You know, I know it's not only me. I, I listen, listen. I got to work some stuff out. You got to work out some anger. You got to work out some lust. You got to work out some, you know, y'all, 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 y'all put nobody in back. You got to work out some stuff on the inside. You got to work out some stuff in your mind. Ask the Holy Spirit, your greatest helper, say he make you afraid of him. So guess what? Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay. If the Bible said, Acts 1, 8, you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost come upon you, then why? Why we don't ask the Holy Ghost to come but No, I don't want that spirit on me. Oh no, he might make me act right. That's what you need. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if I didn't have him, I would have been in the lonely bed. I'm telling you right now, if I didn't have the Holy Ghost, I would have been in the lonely bed. I would have been a preacher preaching in jail. Oh, come on. And it's not just me. I would have been in jail preaching in jail. Y'all understand me? Listen, listen, listen. It goes here. It says this. In John 14, 26. But the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom your father was sent in my name, he will teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I say, the Holy Ghost will teach you. He will teach you how to act right, walk right, Behave right. Yeah. Live right. Because, listen, the world got to know the difference between you and them. That's it. That's it. That's it. You can't act like the world. You can't be doing what the world do. You can't be behaving like the world do. Y'all, do you see? That's why I have a muscle in my mouth. Because blessing and cursing can't come from the same mouth. I will never be blessed. If I'm, I'm right there cursing, y'all understand what I'm saying? Okay, and you, 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 you will not be blessed. Okay, listen to me. In Romans 8, 26, it says this about your helper. Likewise, yes, play me some music. The Spirit also help our infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we know. But the Spirit is some make intercession for us with groaning that which cannot be uttered. The Holy Spirit will help your infirmity. What does infirmity mean, Elder Sherry? Infirmity don't only means he'll help you when you're sick. Infirmity also means your weak area. The area you're weak in. The Holy Spirit is able to help you. Because the Holy Spirit knows what is happening in our lives. The Holy Spirit knows that we have a bunch of weakness on the inside of us. He knows we're addicted to so many things in the world. He knows that we need it, that we can't deal with problems. That as soon as we have problems, we run into to some, some of our addictions. He knows that we are a mess all by ourselves. But Satan wants you to be without a helper. He wants you to just help yourself. Hey, 
know he can't beat the, your helper. He can't beat your helper. Because Jesus rose from the dead. But so therefore, he knows you have to cancel out your helper. Uh-huh. 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 I love that. Do you hear what I'm saying? He knows he can't fire your helper. Because God already sent it. Y'all understand? Your helper is here. But he knows that what you can do is you can uh, you can fire your own helper. You, you cannot just you, leave your helper there. You over here fighting by yourself. You over here fighting with your, all the demons by yourself. You left your, your helper. So he knows you will never ask your helper to help you. You understand what I'm saying? So you cancel out your own greatest helper. Elder Sherry, I'm going to talk about that. Elder Sherry, I need, I need my room fixed. Elder Sherry, I need, I need you to help me with, with, with my children. Uh, don't, listen to me. I love to tell people this. But what can I do? I'm a flesh just like you. Why don't you ask the Holy Spirit? Oh, let's not go there, Elder Sherry. Now we're going to be. <laughs> Y'all hear me? Ask the Holy Spirit. You need somebody, ask the Holy Spirit. You need a new child, ask the Holy Spirit. Whatever you need, ask. You know my time gone. Okay, okay. Satan knows that we are not effective in the natural. And why not when without the help of the Holy Spirit, we're powerless? And that is the position you want us in. So therefore, he can steal your heirloom, all the things that God has for you that you haven't used yet. Money you haven't used yet. Houses you haven't lived or bought yet. Properties and lands and cars and anointing and power you haven't used yet. Don't use your helper, he said. Satan is after three things, your identity. Because if you know who you are, you will stand for the jump that he's trying to give you. He's after your position because you're royal, you're of royal blood flowing through your veins. And you don't know you were born a winner. Woo! My, 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 my. And last of all, he wants to cancel out your helper. So that's why you're free. So this morning, if you don't know this helper, you don't know this God that you're the child of the Most High God. If you don't, if you don't know that you know you've been cast out your helper, if you're afraid of your helper, you know the the, the floor is the, the floor the, the the floor is empty. Uh, uh, you know, I, I I always raise my hands and I say, God, I need help. If you need help this morning from the Holy Ghost, you need help this morning because Satan's been snatching, snatching, and snatching your stuff. Stand up where you are. Listen to me. I can't tell you that you need help. God sees you in the middle of the night crying. God knows what's been happening to you. God knows you've been going from pillar to post uh, saying, oh, maybe if I go to Georgia, uh, 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 you know, I'll be better. Maybe if I go to, to Florida, I'll be better. Maybe if I go to uh, Timbuktu, I'll be better. But listen to me. Maybe if you come to Jesus, you will be better. The addictions are kicking your behind. You'll be better if you come to Jesus. So, I'm ending. Just raise your hands with me. Sister Melanie, you're the only brave So, But I'm raising my hands with you. And all of us are raising our hands. But I'm raising my hands special with you because I'm asking God to give you a special blessing. Father, 
Father God, this morning, bless her indeed, Lord God. Yeah. Father God, you, Lord God, see the woman of God, Father God. She's after, Lord God. She's after your blessing. She's after your anointing. She's after your power, Father God. This morning, Lord God, I pray for this whole congregation. I pray for the people on the internet, Lord God. I pray, Father God, Lord God, this morning that you, Lord God, will help us, Father God, to know our identity, Lord God, that we are children of the most high God, Lord God. And Father God, Lord God, that Satan is after our bloodline, Lord God. He don't want us to know, Lord God, that we're successful. So therefore, Lord God, every action is in every corner. He calls us to think we're failures. So, Father, here I am. Here we are. Here we stand. Change our names. Uh, like Jabez, change our name, Lord God. Bless us indeed, Lord God. Revive us, restore us, Lord God. Because you do it, Lord God. It's up to you, Father God. Because you, you know, you are the best father. You know, I can trade you for no one else. You're the best father ever. Teach me how to love you. Teach us how to love you. Teach us how to respect you. Because you are God. And you are God all by yourself. So, Father God, I thank you. And I praise you this morning. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen.